Hey, what's up, guys? This is Joseph over at JTech, uh, one of the senior network engineers. And I'm going to, today, I'm going to show you how to configure NAT on an 8.4 iOS code on a Cisco ASA firewall. It's a lot different from the 8.2 that some of you guys may be in, uh, used to. So let's jump into it. This is a short video. Uh, you can check our website at jtecx.com. We uh, we manage only Cisco network uh, infrastructures. If you guys have any questions or if your latency is slow, your network is slow, you have questions about your ASA firewall, router, switches, or uh, voices, check our website out, give us a call. All right, let's jump into it. This is a live Cisco ASA 5510. I got my putty session open. And the first thing to do, let's the first thing I like to do when I work on a, uh, a firewall at a client site is always check the iOS code, what version they use, because, you know, you go to one site and they're running 8.2, and then you go to another client site and they're running 8.4, and you try to do certain codes in 8.2, that's not going <laughs> to it's not gonna work in 8.4, and vice versa. So, and that, and that applies to a Cisco switch, it applies to a Cisco router. You know, because the syntax do change, or if it doesn't change that much, you might try to troubleshoot, and you try to run a, uh, a code or a command in one version, and it doesn't work. You're like, hey, what's going on here? So the best thing you do is always check the version of code that you're working on on all devices. That is the first thing I usually do. So... Let's do show version. Move my mouse over here. Include software. We're running uh, 8.4. Cisco uh, ASA firewall. All right, let's close that. So the first thing you need to do is you need to create an object. All right, so config T, object, network. And give it a name. You can call it inside NAT. You can call it inside LAN. You can call it whatever you want. So I'm going to call it for this right now inside NAT. I like capital when I'm giving names. All right. So if you can do, they got a, a bunch of options here. Let's hit the question mark. You can see you have help, host, NAT, no, range, and something else. For this purpose, you, we're going to do the whole LAN. So you don't want to give just one person internet access and not the whole department or floor or company. So we're going to use subnet. But you can use the range command, uh, a specific range of uh, IP addresses. You can use host, whereas it's just given uh, not for one particular host. We're going to use subnet. And for your subnet, I'm going to use a class C address. Um, so let's use, you know what, class, you know what, let's just do 172.16.1.0, right? And hit the mask, 255.255.255.0. All right, that's slash 24, and right from here, you can go in straight into your NAT. You can go NAT, inside, yeah. you know what, besides me actually just typing it out and you don't see the help, let's start over. Let's do NAT so you can see exactly what's what's uh, what needs to be next. So I guess it's good for learning, right? Parentheses. Pick your inside outside interface. I'm going to use inside, comma. Outside, right? So basically, what that is is 
we're going to go from the inside and we're going to translate it out to the outside. And what that is, is your inside addresses are private. You can't route those interfaces, interfaces. You can't route those addresses out to the internet. You need to route, translate it to your outside interface IP because that is actually routable onto the internet. So we're going to translate from the inside to the outside, right? Uh, next is dynamic, so I'm going to dy dynamic, right? And next, interface. Basically, you're going to use the address that is on the outside interface. And hit enter. Now, when you, in, when you do show run, it's not going to be it's not going to be like together. Let me show you what I mean. Now this firewall is a live firewall. So you're going to see some configuration on here. But we're putting it just to the NAT. Right? Scroll down a little bit more and you can see. Oh, what we got here? We got NAT. Oh, that's not the right one we're looking for. You know what? Here's your here's the let's do this. Let's I don't want I don't want to get people all confused. So let's do show one object. And here's the object that we just created. You can see I have a few objects here, but this is the one we just created, right? And now we're gonna do show one that. And this is the one that we're looking for. So basically, now from users from the inside to access the internet, let's do show IP just to show you. Well, the outside address is for this particular lab firewall is 10.1.1.2. So basically, when they go onto the internet and they decide to go to what is my IP address.com, you're going to see 10.1.1.2. Well, not this particular address because the lab, but your outside IP interface, and and that's how you do NAT in 8.4. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, check out our website again. My name is Joseph from JTECH, J-T-E-C-X.com. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.